It's easy to think rich people have the money to spend on luxurious goods. While most people would prefer to see it that way, it's also good to know what rich people don't actually buy in order to sustain their wealth. In this video for today, we'll be discussing several things that wealthy individuals don't invest in. So if you're interested, be sure to stick with us until the end to find out more. You've arrived at the right place. Welcome to Cash King's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll teach you some tips and tricks for making money online. Please subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. As a result, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Please share this video and leave a comment below. Let's return to the video now. In order to continue to accumulate wealth, the wealthy usually avoid investing in the wrong things. Those wrong things are usually investments that will cost you more money in the long term. So knowing these things that we'll be discussing today, you will for sure be able to know what you cannot invest in, thus making smarter decisions and becoming richer in life. In other words, make sure you don't skip any parts of this video, otherwise you'll miss out on the important details. So let's get started. The first investment the rich avoid are bonds. While many rich people do actually include bonds in their portfolios, this isn't the case for everyone. When millionaires try to maximize their wealth, they prefer to avoid this form of investment. The first problem with bonds is that their returns are often smaller than those obtained from stock investments. In fact, many bonds earn only 3% annually on average, hardly keeping up with inflation. For instance, if you invest at $50,000 and the inflation rate is roughly 2% annually, you would get 1% of the net return, or basically $500. Bonds actually have very low yields, so why would people still invest in them? That is because bonds are known to be lower risk investments compared to stock investments. So if you ever plan to dispose of them, you will be able to get your money much faster. Furthermore, bonds generally pay interest, increasing income and assets. On the other hand, they are more of a wealth preservation income than a wealth generating income due to their low yields. That is why the wealthy avoid placing their large sums of money on this kind of investment. Moving on to the second investment that rich people avoid, which are penny stocks. If you aren't familiar with penny stocks, they are usually trades on a stock exchange that are typically less than $5 per share. Penny stocks are actually shunned by rich people for several reasons. The first reason is that companies that offer these low-value trades usually are not required to register with the SEC, also known as the Security and Exchange Commission, as well as not having to present any annual reports. This demonstrates that there is a limit to how closely they can oversee the validity of their financial data. To put it another way, this would make them very risky to invest. The second reason is the lack of access to credible financial information. If companies don't have that information, investors will not likely move forward to give them their money, which makes it very challenging. When it comes to making financial decisions, it's critical for investors to have a sense of the underlying value of their possessions. While it is true that penny stocks have the potential for exponential gains and huge returns for investors who choose to risk their money on these types of investments, many of them are aware that penny stocks will eventually decline in value. Another reason for avoiding penny stocks is their poor liquidity. Since penny stocks aren't mainstream for buyers, it can be very challenging to find a potential buyer if you ever happen to decide to trade your penny stock. To add more to it, penny stocks are bought very less often, although stocks are traded over a thousand times per day. That's how their prices decrease drastically. And the final reason, having volatile price stocks, makes it difficult to determine the underlying value for holdings. And with these reasons, are why investors don't look into penny stocks very much. The third investment the rich also avoid are digital currencies. Bitcoin has been the most prominent cryptocurrency to be debated among many investors over the past several years. 
However, many investors aren't keen to use crypto as a smart investment. We must admit that, though, that people actually made millions worth from investing in cryptocurrency. But here are the reasons why it isn't the best investment out there. 1. Digital currencies aren't government regulated. In other words, investors have little control over how the companies they invest in operate which is concerning if a huge sum of money is being given away. 2. They have no intrinsic worth. Similar to penny stocks, the price is highly speculative. Prices would definitely spike when there is hype around them, but it will eventually fall below once the hype dies down. Let's go over Bitcoin. Bitcoin became very popular around December 2017, and thus the price reached its peak at $17,000. But later on, the hype went down and so did Bitcoin's value declining, now being traded for at least $3,000 a year. 3. Digital currencies are at the huge risk of being hacked and stolen. For instance, in 2016, a Bitcoin exchange company was hacked, resulting in the loss of nearly $70 million from depositors. What's more, this kind of situation is not uncommon among the crypto community. Approximately a third of all Bitcoin exchanges have been hacked at some point. So if you're currently investing in crypto, you might as well be very aware of the potential dangers and loss it can do to your investment. The fourth investment that is unpopular among the rich are certificates of deposit. If you aren't familiar with it, a certificate of deposit is a product that banks and credit unions offer in exchange for a higher interest rate. This usually works when owning a savings account. You will leave a large pile of money to be untouched for a certain amount of time, and in return, you would earn some interest based on the money you deposited. However, the issue of this is much similar with bonds we talked about earlier. They also don't offer very high yield interest. This means you won't be able to overcome inflation with this method if you're working on accumulating your wealth. But what CDs differ from bonds is that they have shorter terms, in which you can get your money out sooner. While this isn't really a terrible investment, smart investors would still expect higher returns. The fifth investment to avoid are collectibles. When we say collectibles, we mean things like art, wine, comic books, figurines, all of those kinds of materialistic things. While collectibles are a huge business, some people aren't confident enough to buy only a few. The fact that collectibles are only worth what someone else is prepared to pay for them is one of the few explanations. In other words, there's no defined price for these assets. You may think it was worth buying a figurine for display, but it's actually worth nothing, unless someone else is willing to buy for higher than you already paid for. The fact that they are illiquid is the biggest reason why wealthy people will not invest in them. In simpler terms, it's very challenging to find the right buyer that will be willing to pay thousands for your collectibles should you want to sell them. The sixth investment to avoid are precious metals. In other words, we mean jewelry, rings, and other expensive metal accessories that are highly valuable. While rich people don't often invest on this because they are also illiquid like collectibles, there are some reasons why other people would invest in them. As a hedge against economic downturns, they would turn to precious metals. However, when compared to stocks, they don't really go up in value to make up for the losses that occur in the stock market. In fact, investing in stocks is a more worthwhile investment than precious metals. Lastly, the seventh investment, companies that rich people don't understand. While stocks are a better investment, it doesn't mean that all stocks are. Some businesses can be so difficult to comprehend that investors feel they aren't worth investing. As an investor, you'd want to invest in companies that you do understand. While stocks is definitely one of the biggest ways to accumulate your wealth, it's highly suggested that you stick with stocks that you are greatly familiar with. So that's all the investments rich people avoid. Bonds, penny stocks, cryptocurrencies, certificates of deposit, collectibles, metals, and complex businesses. Those are all the things you need to be aware of when accumulating your own wealth. We hope this video has given you helpful information on making better and smart financial decisions when it comes to growing your money. 
That concludes today's video. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to Cash Kings, and click the notification bell. As always, please leave any concerns or questions in the comment section below. Thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you in the next video.